there's um there are independent bodies that define a lot of the actions uh, around the country. And I'm thinking in particular of on board Panola, you appoint the board, your department appoints the board. Um, however, the, the body itself is independent. Um, is the board currently looking at the 51% and actually applying that in its decisions? Um, Likewise, county and city development plans cover every inch of this country and what happens within those county and city development plan is going to decide what kind of planning, where our roads are, where our cycle lanes are, how much parking goes into our cities. These are all decisions that fall under those, those um, development plans. They're being looked at, um, proposed by executives like yourself, Mr. Mahan, and then voted on, specific elements are being voted on by councillors. And I think of one particular one in Galway where uh, all councillors bar one um, voted against um, a set, moving the setback, setback distance at a coastal area in Galway Too further much. away from the sea. And, and I know that that's not mitigation, but I think it, it still does apply um, when we think of all of the different actions that are now being made and decided. Just to follow on from my previous comment in relation to the county and city development plans. Um, so one thing is in the preparation of those, I don't believe that they are um, that, that they are going to help us achieve the 51%. And I'd ask the department to review all of those and see what actions can be taken to, to address that. But the second point is, if we have councillors who are continuously voting against climate measures, and that's both, both in mitigation and adaptation, is there an emergency plan there by the Department of Housing, local government? Um, because I think that there, there's a real risk at the moment. I've already seen councillors voting against these things um, and measures have been taken around housing. What are the measures that you plan to take around climate action? Thanks. Thank you.